All right. Welcome to another episode of Scalable and Sellable, where we find out what great entrepreneurs have done to scale their businesses into the millions. Stay right here for the next few minutes to leverage validated methodologies for growth and create a way more scalable and a way more sellable business for yourself. Let's get started. Um, would you mind telling our audience just a little bit more about who you are and, and what your business is? Sure, sure. Thank you uh, for having me. So uh, yeah, I'm a French, originally from uh, north of France, a little town called Lille. <laughs> I don't know if you, uh, a lot of you guys are familiar with it because uh, most of your audience are from USA, but it's a beautiful, uh, yep. beautiful town there. Uh, yeah, so basically I moved uh, to Miami uh, 12 years ago because uh, I have the, this entrepreneurial uh, spirit and uh, I love real estate and uh, I'm uh, pretty excited to uh, to be on your on your show here and explain a little bit about what we do at uh, Landquire. That's uh, a company I created uh, uh, two years ago. Yeah, and and really, I, we were just talking before this that we're like almost a mirror reflection of each other. I grew up in Florida and, and moved to France. He grew up in France and moved to Florida. I'm I'm uh, I'm in the south of France and he was from the north of France. So it's we're we're. Uh, we're um, yin and yang <laughs> together. Um, so, so, so you've been scaling your company these last couple of years. What do you attribute your growth to? So yes, basically, uh, I used my experience uh, about eight, eight, ten years of experience. Uh, although I'm still young, I'm 34, you know. But uh, uh, I did uh, fix and flip, you know, especially for houses about 400, uh, 400 properties uh, within the last, uh, I would say, eight years. Wow. And I really wanted to build a company where I could, uh, I could do it nationally without having me uh, to be locally uh, present, uh, meaning everything could be, do, could be done remotely uh, using technology and, mm. and do it at scale ev everywhere in the States. So uh, we basically use yeah. a lot of technology, a lot of data, uh, to help us then, uh, you know, target as many property owners as possible in very specific areas that we target. Uh, and, and then we send about 100,000 uh, offers per month. So it's a numbers game. Then our, the property owners call us uh, and they, they, uh, most of them want to sell quickly. Uh, at, and we negotiate uh, to 50 up to 50 percent of the market value and that's how we buy them very cheap at a discount and mm -hmm. then we are able to put them on the market really quick using drone you know drone uh, nice uh, marketing package yeah. Yeah. and sell it sell it at the market value and uh, it's amazing we it's yeah. leveraging today's technology for something as old as land uh it's really yeah. incredible uh, I'm, I'm sure over those years um from uh, from the fix and, and flip days to the tech side of what you do now, you've learned a lot along the way. And, and based on all those different types of past experiences, if you were to come into another brand new company, like tomorrow, starting from scratch, what would be some of the first things that you think you would start to do to grow it? To grow it? That's a good question. It's all about uh, the, the market. If, if the markets make sense uh, to get into, and as long as you have the right processes in place, the technology behind it and the team, uh, then you see an opportunity. Uh, and in real estate, I think that's the beauty of uh, this industry is that you can uh, do, uh, you can be very creative the way you purchase, uh, either it can be, you know, houses or multifamily or lands, then, you know, uh, there are so many, so many opportunities to, uh, to grow and scale in this industry so uh, mm. yeah, if you do a, if you do a good analysis and uh, and then you have you know uh, you have a good team around you that can help you achieve uh, your goals and I think you know that's that's pretty that's pretty it's pretty important pretty amazing yeah, yeah. for sure a, a good team um, uh, have there been any books that were influential uh, in uh, your ascent as an entrepreneur uh, the book is more like uh, not really in particular but uh, I like to uh, you know I like to follow like mentors or uh, 
doing masterminds, particularly uh, be inspired, right, by uh, by uh, by the people that you want to hang out with and yeah. your friends. These are very important. Also, the way what they do, and if you are in the same same mindset, same uh, spirits, mm -hmm. then you can try to uh, help each other and 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 get a better version of you, right? And then. Yeah. Uh, be a better version of you by always being inspired, but always uh, trying to be a leader and, and then uh, push yourself to, uh, to, you know, to, um, to not be afraid of, of failures and then, and grow that way and, and jump into, uh, jump into like, you know, into the, if you, if you don't know how to swim, you just have to jump it and figure out later, right? And try to, <laughs> uh, to make it happen uh and, and then be focused on what works right be very focused and driven oriented uh, because you can try different things and uh it's normal that things don't work out the way you you, you imagined at first yeah, they almost <laughs> never do right <laughs> never they, do right yeah, yeah almost yeah. nothing does the way <laughs> exactly. we imagined it yeah so it's you know it's all about you know um I think if you are passionate about what you do and you love what you do and mm -hmm. uh, and then you stay focused, uh, you, after a period of time, you, you become successful. Do you have any advice on entrepreneurs who like the founder position more so than running the day-to-day -day as the CEO of bringing in a CEO? Uh, it, it depends what you like to do. If you want to be in an operational or uh, wants to... Have someone do that for do the, the daily the daily task for you. Uh, I think at first it's nice to figure out by yourself everything. Like that's what I did. Like I did everything myself. Mm -hmm. But after some period of time, this is not how you want to do the business to operate uh, with you involved on a daily on a daily basis, right? You want to then be able to have uh, uh, a team around you or a CEO that can help you. Uh, you know, kind of um uh, replace yourself a little bit and uh, so, so that it gives you time to breathe and take a step back about your business and what you can improve so how you can have a better vision and then uh and uh and then you know like because if someday you you are sick or you know you're tired or you're in vacation if the business uh doesn't run for you it means there is a there is an issue without you being involved it means there is a there is a, an issue, you know, uh, after some time. But uh, at first, learn by yourself and then try to, you know, uh, replace yourself. Yeah. Yes, I agree. It helps to to know know everything that's going on, know what's true, what's BS, and and but but then doing what you did ultimately bring somebody in to to hand over the keys and those types of roles. Um, what questions should I be asking you that I haven't? Uh, I don't know. It's a good question. Uh, <laughs> uh, hmm. Like knowing what you know, what should I ask you? <laughs> um, you know, maybe uh, I don't know what's inspired you to to become yeah. an entrepreneur or yeah, what to, was it? Uh, uh, I think it's it's um, it's a combination between uh, how you grew up. Uh, a part of it is education. But another part is like self, uh, maybe self-discipline or self, how you understand yourself and who you are and who, who you want to, what you want to become. And, uh, and from there, you, you um, it's all about uh, in life, you know, you have people who want stability or stay in their zone of comfort, comfort zone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And some other who are more risky or mm -hmm. adventurous, advantage, uh, they like to have some kind of yeah, yeah. adventurous and then and, uh, and uh, entrepreneurial or you know get it out of your comfort zone. I think it's uh, it's 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 great because life is is short and uh, why not uh, why not risk some of the you know some of the things along the way and uh, it's like a journey. And that's, if you see too much a destination, then uh, it's better to see the journey. You know the, all the struggle. You need to like the struggle and the and the yeah. hustle. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. And the final destination will be, will be, will get, will be, will be. You will get there eventually. But yeah. If you can as learn, long as you learn like the love, yeah, the, love the journey, building, yeah. the building part. Um, any final words of advice for entrepreneurs watching? 
No, I mean, uh, I'm, I'm very thankful uh, to, be, uh, to be on your show, grateful, and uh, I will make sure to follow all of the videos that you have and all the values that you share and, and uh, all the, the, you know, the videos. And uh, I can't wait to, uh, you know, to, uh, to see uh, and keep each other posted about uh, new opportunities. And uh, hopefully I can meet you either yeah in south of france or uh, in miami when you're back in miami maybe and <laughs> i've been in both places recently so i'm yeah we gotta after this thing we gotta we gotta talk and then line something up for sure thank you so much though for let me pick sure. your brain sure sure and uh, if uh, some of the um, you know some of the audience want, are interested they can uh, mm -hmm. look our company is called landquire pretty simple landquire.com and uh, see what we uh, we do and i think it's uh it's pretty good for the investors who want to place their invest their money uh to yeah, buy some land. income yeah it's about uh you know anywhere between 15 and 18 percent uh, return on investments uh and it takes six to 12 months for us to to uh to buy and sell and our wow. investors they finance the deals and they receive a a good a uh, good amount of money so it's what, pretty, what, uh, pretty great. where do your in, in investments start at where is somebody looking to get in from from like you know yeah a starting point up uh we're active in 33 states right now uh but we have a lot of deals in uh in uh, florida uh georgia Car uh, north carolina uh tennessee arkansas uh oregon so all over the places all right so you have no and with the, the technology you have they have no excuse find find some property get a good deal and make some money that's awesome exactly. thank you so exactly. much thank you appreciate it thank you